Good evening. Isaiah chapter 57. By Leman, the 57th book of the Bible. The righteous perish, and no man layeth it to heart. And it's a true statement. There have been righteous people, people who died in the Lord, either testament, and most most likely the people on the other side of the world who take knowledge. Except for the families and friends, even within time. The dead man's forgotten. The merciful men are taken away. And none considereth that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. To come. From the time Isaiah B.C. 712, the theory of evolution is incorrect. Things are going to get better and better and better. No, things are going to get worse and worse and worse. You apply that to the church age today. And before the evil is to come, the church, the, the righteous, the merciful men are called out. We're raptured. We're gone before the tribulation period. And what Isaiah is writing here and coming to, the, to the Jeremiah is, there's coming the judgment of Babylon upon Judah. And in the mercy and grace of God, some righteous people are going to be put to sleep. <laughs> Death. And this is one of the reasons why babies die. For the furtherance of no evil happening because we have a God that knows. The foreknowledge of God, you know, why the baby died. Because God sees what would have happened to that child that we don't. God knew full well of Pharaoh, of the book of Exodus. He would not listen to your heart in his heart. God said, listen, for this reason I'm raising you up. God could say, you know what, Pharaoh, I don't even want you to be born. I don't even want you to live past one years old. But your heart and heart I'm going to use for my honor and my glory. He shall enter into peace, death. They shall rest in their beds, death. Each one walking in his uprightness. <coughs> That's not the church age. I don't walk in my uprightness. I walk in, in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Here are people in the law. Who are salvation by works. They put many of the Christians to shame. That rich and glory. And Jesus gives them a list of things. That I've done for my youth up. And Jesus never rebukes him. When we look at the things of Job and all that he does in his works. And the Christians think, well, I go to church Sunday morning. Whoopie doo doo doo. Now the tide changes. Verse 3. But draw near hither, ye sons of sorceresses. Now, this is wicked people. God reached out and said, come on, come here. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The invitation is there. Isaiah sent there. Jeremiah sent to the wicked people to come. Against whom do you sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth? Are you talking too much? And draw out the tongue. You're speaking. Who's your bragging? Who are you speaking for? Who are you speaking about? 
What is your sport? What is your ambition? Who is your, what are you doing it for? And why are you doing it? Are ye not children of transgression, the seed of falsehood? Your parents have been teaching you. And it runs all the way back to your father, John 8, 44, the devil. You're not following in Jehovah, you're following in Satan. Inflaming yourself with idols. Why is there a religion out there saying, you know, it's not, it's, it's an aid to worship. Where every, you know, everywhere in the Bible, you can't find a good place anywhere for idols and images. Under every green tree. They're out there worshiping in the woods. They're out there worshiping in the, uh, the, 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 the forest. They're out there, they got their own little groves. They may even have an evergreen tree with idols and images and, and tinsel and all kinds of things that they worship and bow down to, to put water in and they worship and bow down to get their gifts from. These are your, these are your original biblical tree huggers. <laughs> these are your drones. Your gnomes. That didn't happen in England and, and, and uh, Irish. And, uh, that's happened here in the Bible. Slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rock. You know, abortion, you know. Here they're slaying children that have been bo already born and living. This is post-abortion. Among the smooth stones of the streams is thy portion. You know, they're out there in nature, and they're out there in the waters, they're out there in the trees, and they've killed their children. It was the smooth stones that David gra grabbed to, to kill Goliath. And you'll see that today, you, you, you'll see these pile of rocks, you know, You'll find that these smooth stones are in the new age. And you got the weather rock. You got the pet rock. You got every rock but the rock of Jesus Christ. Their rock is not as our rock. They, they are thy lot. The rock, that's, that's what you get in the end. Your gods, the rocks. Well, heaven and earth shall pass away. And Peter says if it melts away with fervent he so does your rocks and your stones. Even to them hast thou poured a drink offering, and hast offered a meat offering. Should I receive comfort in these? What are they doing? Those are the same offerings you find in the law in the book of Leviticus. You know what they are? They're religious. They got the same thing that the children of Israel properly do in the priest. They're just doing it wrong. They got the offerings, but they're not bringing it to the tabernacle or the temple. They're giving it to the rocks, the stones, the tree. It's the same thing. They're religious. And you got a reversal in the church today. You got the Easter and the Christmas. It's the same Catholic paganism. Just with a Baptist title on it. And we got to agree with God that God is going to receive the comfort because the Baptists say it's us. Well, that's what the same that's what the same heathen and that's what the same Jewish apostates are saying. God must be pleased with us. Because we're of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. We've got the lineage. We're in Jerusalem. Upon a lofty and high mountain, 
That's a set night bed. That's not the bed of peace. Verse 2. You know that guru? Everybody wants to climb Mount Everest. A lot of these religions, they got that guy, you know, the cartoon, and they got to climb the mountains in their pilgrimages and whatever their religion calls it. Even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifices. So they're religious, but God has put forth in the law, thou shalt not offer your offerings wherever you want to offer them. You're supposed to bring them to the to the door, to the tent of the tabernacle, the temple. You got many different denominations of, of, of churches, and you got many different church buildings, and many are wrong. But they bring their sacrifices, they bring their tithe, they bring their prayers, they open a Bible, they have a message, all in the name of God. I've got to ask you, which God? And, you know, God bless America, which God? You know how many gods there are in America? Which one? Oh, you want the God of the Bible... You want the Christian God in America and in your government when the churches are not even living to the Christian God of the Bible. Behind the doors, also in the post, as I set up thy remembrance. You mean they got their own buildings and not the temple? Yeah, they, they got their own little buildings. For thou hast discovered thyself to another than me. They, they left God out. They got a building. They got a building program. And they're remembering. And look who are we. In the Tower of Babel, even God had to come down with it as a trinity. Let's take a look at that. God's not involved in it. And are going up. Thou hast learned enlarge thy bed. You got you, you got you got a lot of people, you got a lot of people involved. You got numbers. And made thee a covenant with them. The visitors. That's today's church. You know, all are welcome. Come to our church. Did you not forget what the definition of church is? Church is not a building. It's a group of people <coughs> who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ alone. That's the church. Here's a gathering assembly of people. God's not in it. And they got more and more people coming. And they're making covenants with them. They're making agreements with them. They're making... Thou lovest their bed where thou sawest it. I like your religion. I like your church. I like what you do in your church. I like Esther so much we'll bring it to our church. Hey, we like the joyful celebration of Christmas. We'll bring it to our church. And I, like I said, I showed a Baptist church where, oh, we like Good Friday so good we'll bring it to our church. Lilies are, are good. We'll bring the lilies into our church. You realize now that the Catholic Church has their VBS? You know that Catholics go knocking on door, or they used to before COVID-19? Catholic Church, hey, you know, the Baptists got a good thing. Why don't we, they've been adopted from us, why don't we adopt from them? You 
And the church looks at the world and says, hey, I like that. Let's bring it in. That went as to the king with ointment. Went to a power and authority of the government. And did increase thy perfumes. And did send thy messengers far off. And debase thyself even unto hell. They went and flattered the ruler. They went and brought gifts to the ruler. Thou art wearied in greatness of thy way. Thy way. Thy way is unto death. Says thou not, there is no hope. <laughs> Why are you still doing it? You know, a lot of people involved in tobacco and alcohol and all sex and money and stuff. Okay, there's no hope. I'm not happy. I don't got the joy. Thou hast found the life of thy hand. The good life. Life begins at 40. Therefore thou was not grieved. Their cause of the world is more shame, more anguish. They ain't got no joy. They're wasting time and wasting money. And they don't even, they're not even sad about it. And of whom has thou been afraid or fear? Where is your fear? Where is your fear? COVID-19. Well, you know, if I if I upset my church, I'm not going to be able to be, get buried in the yard. Uh, and if I don't get buried in the cemetery, I'm not going to go to the to the to the church religion heaven. That thou hast lied. Fear brings lies, and lies are because of fears. Why does a little child tell mom and dad, I didn't do it? Because they're afraid <coughs> of being punished. <coughs> Forgive me, please. It has not remembered me. So see, God has been absent. God is not in it. And there are religions and there are church buildings and there are gatherings today in the church. Age. God is not in it. And they think, well, God has not called flames down from fire. God has not made the man drop dead at the door of the church and his wife come along and he, she dropped dead at the church. And, you know, there's no flames of fire and the place is there Sunday so we can go back and worship. So, you know, God's got to be in it. Now how things work today. God's long suffering. He's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna call out preachers. He's gonna call out men with the word of God. But for every man with a Bible that is right, every man that preaches the gospel is right. You got twenty who are wrong. Day of judgment's coming. Has not remembered me, nor laid it to heart. You're not even thinking about me. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness. That's far from them. They're thinking with their mind. They're thinking with their wisdom. They're thinking with their knowledge. Have not I held my peace, even of old? And thou fearest me not. See, there's no fear of God. COVID-19 did not cause anybody to turn to God. It, 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 they turned to the Republican president. They turned to pharmaceutical companies, but they didn't turn to God. I will declare thy righteousness and thy work, for they shall not profit thee. 
They got a righteous. They got works. God said, hey, going to help you. Ain't going to do you no good. They got drink offerings. They got meat offerings. They got sacrifice. But it's not what God said. There are people who got a King James Bible who end up in hell with a King James Bible. When thou criest, let thy companies deliver thee. Oh, I got trouble, need help, oh, help me. God, help me. You didn't want me. You mentioned the great white throne judgment. Oh, God, come on, please show me mercy and great. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Ah, but then I say prayers to the Pope. But then I. The Pope's in hell. I'm not going to bring him up. <laughs> I've already dealt with him. Where's your dollars? Where's your stones? Yeah, let me have the stone. Heaven and earth is fled away. I'm gone. What about my pastor? What about him? He's not on the throne. You put him on the throne on the earth, but he ain't on the throne now. Oh, I said a prayer. The prayers don't save you. Oh, I had a cooking and I, I drank your, I ate and drank your body and blood. I didn't do nothing for you, did it? I'm going to cast you in the lake of fire. Where's Allah? Allah's in the lake of fire right now. You're going to be joining him in a few seconds. That's a, that's a fearful thing. But the wind shall carry them all away. <laughs> Nothing. Destruction. Vanity shall take down. Nothing. Vanity. That's what vanity is. None. That's what the wind is. Nothing. What is the wind? Draw me a picture of the wind. But he that putteth his trust in me, God, shall possess the land that is never, 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 never church age. That's Israel, Hebrew, Jewish. They're not looking for a heaven. They're looking for a land. You know what they wanted when Jesus came? They didn't want Calvary. They wanted Jesus to kick Roman butt and get the Romans out of there so they can claim their land. And then give us the give us the bread and fish so we may eat and not be not be full again. Give us the water that we can drink and not be thirsty again. Come on, Jesus. That's what they wanted. Well, they say, well, you know, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Eternal life in the land. That's <laughs> what they wanted. Jews are looking for that land, and they're going to get the land, new earth, and inherit my holy mountain, Jerusalem. It ain't holy now. Not with the dumb of the rock there. It shall say, cast ye up. Cast thee up, prepare the way, the way, the way. Look at verse 10, it says, thy way. God says, the way, the truth, and the light. Take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people, Israel. What's the stumbling block? Magic, adultery, whoredom, murder, other, other religions, thy ways, not the way. That's what it is. Israel now has been involved in other ways. Stumbling block. Where God is angry with them. There's a stumbling block in the church age today. Perverted by religion. All kinds of false worship. Sin being allowed. Everybody's allowed in church. 
doctrines and dogmas. For thus saith the Lord, verse 15, For thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity. That's God. Whose name is holy. That's God. I dwell in a high and holy place. With him also that is of a contrite, which means a worn or bruised, hence a broken heart of sin. You see the Webster's 1828 dictionary, never Hebrew or Greek. And the grief of sorrow of offending God. A contrite is to be serious about your sins of being sorry. And a humble spirit, never pride, never proud. To revive, to make alive again the spirit of the humble. To revive the heart of the contrite one. Giving them life again. In a world of religion, a world of sin, a, rebellion, a world of rebellion against God for those that do right. There's a hope that they don't have. I will not contend forever, contend forever. I'm not going to fight you guys longer. There's a time coming to be, you know what, you want to be against me, you want to be wicked, I'll deal with you one final time. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Now, I was long-suffering. I was not willing that any should perish, but there was this to a point, you know what, we're done. We're done. Neither will I be always raw. God is angry. For the spirit shall fail before me. And the souls, plural, which I have made. Everybody's going to go to heaven. No, they're not. Oh, God hates the sin and loves the sinner. Really? It's not what I read. For the iniquity of his covetousness was I wrought. When you want more than what you got, that makes God angry. Paul says to be content. Church age doctrine. When you want to have more people in the church, it's not for souls to be saved. You just want more head count. And we've got to have a bigger and greater church. Not to the honor and glory of God, but so we can brag about ourselves. That makes God angry. And smote him. I hid me. How on earth can God hide? He's everywhere. But he says, I hid me. How does Jesus Christ hide himself from the church today? He's standing outside the closed door knocking. I'm not in I'm not going in there. I'm gonna knock on the door and if you invite me, I'll come in. But I ain't going in. There are, there are churches that <coughs> can't ask you, forgive me. There are churches today above that door is written Ichabod. The glory is departed. And Jesus Christ is not in it. He's outside the door. And Satan's in it. And Satan will give you a false blessing to think you're wonderful and great unto the axe falls. And was wroth, angry. You don't want to make God angry. And he went on frobertly 
in the way of his heart. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourner. Job. Job's a type. We're running back to verses 1 and 2 again. The, the one that's died righteous. Going to be resurrected the righteous. The good. The glory. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace. Peace. That's the fruit of the Spirit. To him that is far off. The Jews have, have been scattered. Nineveh. Syria. Going to Babylon. And to him that is near in the land, saith the Lord, I will heal him, Israel. God ain't all done with Israel. Now God will cleanse Israel. He will remove the wicked of Israel. And there are Jews that will and are in hell. But the wicked, there we are, are like the troubled sea, stormy. Tossed. When it cannot rest. Whose waters cast up mire and dirt. It's just. Then a remarkable statement. There is no peace. Saith. My God. To the wicked. Now. What's one of the things that. In my public ministry. And I got accused last week. Oh, judging, you're judging people. Oh, you're judging me. And when I call them judging me, then they get upset at me because I said, you're judging me after I you said I judge. And there'll be many people like there was last week, you know, just cussing and filth. I say, you ain't got no peace. And the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. You're angry, you're upset at the word of God at Jesus. And then you're going to turn around and tell me you're a Christian. And the Bible says there is no peace to the wicked. All right, if you are a Christian, I can't say you're, you're not. But man, if you are a Christian and you're upset and you're angry and you're offended, God is absent from your life. You're a wicked Christian that God said the Holy Spirit can't work. And as a Christian, if you don't have the peace, you've got to look at what your life is. Because there is no peace, saith, the, saith my God, to the wicked. You want that peace? You got to be right with God. You can't be wicked. And there are Christians that are wicked. 